all surgical procedures involve contact between a surgical instrument or equipment and the patient tissue to prevent transmission of various microbes through instruments to the patient and vice versa adequate sterilization is an important aspect for handling this sterilization can be defined as a process by which all viable forms of microorganisms such as fungi bacteria viruses are removed or destroyed as microorganisms are present everywhere since they cause contamination infection or decay it becomes mandatory to remove or destroy them from surfaces and from material sterilization procedure used it should be simple but effective and of relatively shorter duration and cost effective too before going further we have to understand certain common terms such as asepsis it means absence of an infection or microorganism are prevented to access the patient or individual by following the same practices antisepsis stands for prevention of sepsis by the destruction or inhibition of microorganism using an antiseptic agents on animate or living tissue this infection means killing of microorganism but not their spores by using certain chemical substances on inanimate or non living objects sterilization stands for complete elimination of microorganism by physical or chemical means now the history of sterilization louis pasteur of france was among the first to use sterilization technique he developed the steam sterilization hot air oven and the autoclave pasteurization was a method developed by him to get rid of bacilli from the milk joseph lister in the year 1867 applied pasteur's work and introduced antiseptic techniques in surgery that's why he is also known as the father of antiseptic surgery various types of sterilization methods are physical means chemical agents gas sterilization and irradiation physical sterilization is again of two types dry heat and moist heat dry heat sterilization mode of action is denaturation or destruction of cellular proteins in this method dry heat is used for sterilizing different materials heated air or fire is used in this process as compared to the moist heat sterilization the temperature is higher it is further of three types flaming burning and hot air oven flaming is the technique of sterilizing the instrument by passing it over the burning flame till red hot it is widely used for sterilization of needles plates etc burning or incineration is used to disinfect contaminated articles such as dressings sanitary pads etc hot air oven it is the most common and effective method of sterilization for metal instruments and glassware temperature between 160 to 180 degree celsius used for one hour to sterilize the various instruments and equipment now the moist heat sterilization mode of action is denaturation of major cell constituents it is further of two types boiling and autoclaving next is boiling it is the most effective method of sterilization but it kills bacteria only 
temperature of 100 degree is used for 15 to 20 minutes duration it is basically used for sterilization of syringes utensils etc 2% sodium carbonate is added to boiling water to make it alkaline that helps in destruction of microbial spores too auto cleaning it kills all type of organism including spores it is a moist heat in the form of saturated steam under pressure temperature of 120 to 135 degrees under 15 pounds per square inch pressure is used for 15 to 20 minutes for the sterilization complete cycle assessment is confirmed by using specific gelatin protein which precipitate only in steam under pressure for 20 minutes the green colored strip turns to black if autoclave is complete, which is signifies as signal lock. Surgical gloves, linen, cotton, dressing, surgical instruments are sterilized by this method. Sharp and plastic instruments cannot be sterilized by it. Double autoclaving is done for instruments which we are going to use for orthopedic or ophthalmic surgery. In field sterilization, we can use large pressure cooker under maintained pressure for 45 minutes as an autoclave. Now, the chemical means of sterilization. It is also known as cold sterilization. It destroys all bacteria except tubercle bacilli, but spores and viruses may not be destroyed by it. Immersion of instruments in tray containing these chemical substances or it can be used in painting of the operated area and mopping, etc. It is widely used for sterilization of sharp edged instruments. Groups of chemicals which we can use for sterilization are alcohols, aldehydes, ammonia compounds, chlorhexidine, chlorine compounds, iodine compounds, and phenol and its derivatives. First group is alcohols. Mechanism of action is protein denaturation, metabolic interruption, and cell lysis. Most common examples are isopropyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol, which is used for injection site preparation and spot cleaning, etc. It is corrosive to stainless steel and very much volatile in nature, so can be used with caution. Next group is aldehydes. The mode of action is protein and nucleic acid alkylation. The very famous example of aldehyde is formaldehyde, which is commonly known as formalin, which is a solution of 40% formaldehyde with water. It is capable of killing all bacteria, spores and viruses. It is having extremely pungent smell, irritating to skin and mucous membranes. It is effective at high temperatures, 30 to 40 degrees centigrade and humidity of 80 to 90 percent is mandatory. 500 ml of formalin plus 1 liter of water after boiling can give formaldehyde vapors for the fumigation of the OT and rooms etc. The room or area which has to be fumigated must be kept closed for 12 hours. Next agent is glutaraldehyde or Cydex 2%. It is very potent bactericide, sporicide, fungicide and viricide. It is used to sterilize sharp instruments such as blades, scalpels, needles etc. As it is highly irritating to skin and mucous membranes so that after 
dipping it for 10 hours they must be well rinsed before use next is chlorhexidine or hibitin it is an antiseptic agent which is highly effective against gram positive and gram negative organisms it is present in detergents tinctures and aqueous solutions a concentration of 0.75 to 1% is used for preparation of patients for surgeries as scrubbing also used as hand scrubs as non irritating to the skin next category is iodine compounds mechanism of action is released free iodine from carrier molecules the best example is povidine iodine better known as betadine it is the best antiseptic and also have sporicidal activity to some extent it is used for cleaning of wounds scrubbing of hands etc as it is non irritant and do not stain skin it is widely used nowadays iodoforce in the concentration of 7.5% solution is used for scrubbing of floors counter tops wash basins etc now the chlorine compounds mechanism of action is by chlorination and oxidation of essential molecules the first example is hypochlorite solution we are very well aware of mechanism of action of this potent sterilization agent in this covid era 2.5% sodium hypochlorite solution is used for cleaning the floors counter tops washrooms Bath bathrooms, basins, etc. It should be used with caution as it is corrosive to the metals. Next is Usol solution, that is Edinburgh University solution. It is a combination of sodium hypochlorite, boric acid, and calcium hydroxide. It is basically used for cleaning of ulcers, fistula tracts, etc. the last group is phenol and its derivatives mode of action is disruption of cell membranes and precipitation of cellular proteins the famous example is phenol or carbolic acid 2% solution is used it is bactericide but has no effect on viruses and spores next is cresol 0.5 to 1% concentration is used and it is very helpful as intestinal antiseptic lysol is very commonly used for disinfection of non living objects such as cleaning of bathrooms floors tiles basins and organic waste such as feces urine etc dettol or chloroxyzelenol 2% solution is used as a potent antiseptic for dressings or cleaning of wounds another variety is savlon which is a combination of chlorhexidine and cetrimide very effective germicide and used as household product for cleaning or as first aid management etc now the gas sterilization ethylene oxide gas chambers are used for the sterilization purpose mechanism of action is alteration of normal cellular metabolism and replication through alkylation of protein riboleucic acid and deoxyribonucleic acids moisture and heat sensitive equipments can be sterilized through it and it is effective against all types of microorganisms it is basically used to sterilize endoscopes gloves catheters items sealed in plastic packings etc the effectiveness of ethylene oxide gas as a sterilizing agent depends on gas concentration which must be 450 to 1500 mg per liter 
temperature usually 21 to 60 degree centigrade exposure time should be 48 minutes to several hours and humidity 40 percent is necessary for lethal action of ethylene oxide last variety is irradiation techniques of sterilization radiation used for sterilization is of two types ionizing and non-ionizing one ionizing radiation it uses shorter wavelength high intensity and high penetrating radiation to destroy microorganisms such as gamma rays and x-rays it is basically used to sterilize pre-packed items as surgical blades catheters syringes gowns drapes etc non-ionizing radiation uses longer wavelength having lower energy and penetration such as ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays produced by mercury vapor lamp and used to sterilize surfaces rooms etc this is all about the sterilization technique we must have an idea about the type of sterilization technique we have to use for different types of surgical instruments equipments part preparation pre and post operative care etc thank you all take care stay home stay safe Thank you.